in this lesson we will discuss about different parts of a computer system and we will also see what is an information processing cycle now as far as a computer system is concerned uh, it has four main parts number one hardware number two software number three data and number four user now let's see what is a hardware all the physical components of a computer that can be touched physically are called hardware all the devices in a computer constitute the hardware because you can physically touch them now computer comprises of several interconnected devices the hardware of a computer may either be internal or external now let's see the difference between internal and external hardware internal hardware refers to the physical components inside a computer system for example the random access memory known as ram processor hard drive motherboard power supply and other internal devices for example the sound card and the video card okay these all constitute the internal hardware external hardware on the other hand refers to devices that are connected to the outside of a computer for example monitor printer scanner mouse keyboard so on and so forth okay so all these external devices that are connected to the outside side of a computer they are the external hardware external hardware is also called peripheral devices okay all the external devices that are connected to your computer are also known as peripheral devices okay so these uh, uh this figure shows you uh, a scanner on the left then you have a um, keyboard and mouse in the middle and a printer and a monitor on the right side okay now let's see what is a software software is a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do software is also referred to as a program now software exists either for the computer itself to manage its resources or it exists for the user to perform specific tasks for example creating a document now examples of software could be microsoft word microsoft excel okay windows operating system adobe photoshop adobe illustrator so all these uh, are the software and all of them are used to uh, use for particular purposes for example microsoft word is an example of word processing software you can edit a document using a microsoft word okay and if you are dealing with uh, financial data you can use a microsoft excel then you have windows family of operating systems which is also an example of a software then photo editing software such as adobe photoshop is also a software graphics software such as adobe illustrator is a, is another example of a software okay so these are just few examples you must bear in mind that there are thousands and thousands of different softwares that have been developed for different purposes so what is a software software is the set of instructions that direct the computer what to do it is also called a program and software exists 
for computer to manage its own resources and for users to perform a specific task. Now, the next part of a computer system is the data. So, data as we discussed earlier is uh, the bits of information or raw collection of facts that by themselves do not make any sense to the user. So, the computer's primary job is to organize data and to bring it in presentable form. Okay. Now, the next part of a computer system is the user. User is the person who is operating the computer. So, a complete, every computer system, even if it is completely autonomous, is dependent on the user for the installation of programs. So, we may say that user is the most important part of the computer. Okay because without the user computer cannot perform any task it is even if it is totally autonomous it is still dependent on the user for the installation of different programs now let's see what is an information processing cycle information processing cycle is the sequence of steps followed by a computer to process the data what are these steps? These are number one input, number two processing, number three output and number four storage. Now let's see the step number one of the information processing cycle which is the input. Now during this part of the cycle the computer accepts data from either a user or some program in order to process it. The step number two of the information processing cycle is processing. During this step, the computer's processing components, for example, a central processing unit, performs certain operations on the data based on the instructions that user provides or the instructions provided by a program. Step number three of the information processing cycle is the output. Now if in this step the computer is bound to display the results of its processing. For example, uh, it, it may be the case that the results appear as numbers or text or graphics okay on the computer screen and uh, it may also appear as sound uh, from speakers okay uh, a computer may also send output to a printer okay or uh, it may send the output to another computer uh, through a network for example an internet okay so internet is basically an example of a computer network it's a network of computer networks we will discuss about it uh, as we proceed further okay the last step of the information processing cycle is the storage now in this step the computer stores the results of its processing permanently on some device for example a hard drive hard disk okay or magnetic tape or some other kind of storage medium okay so all of these four steps constitute the information st processing cycle and this is how the computer processes the data so these are the steps involved in processing the data so information processing in cycle involves four different steps in step number one the computer gets input from the user or a program in step number two the computer's processing component such as the central processing unit processes the data 
okay and we discussed earlier what do we mean by processing the data processing means performing some kind of arithmetic or logical operations on the data okay in step number three the computer displays the results of the processing in the form of output okay and in step number four the computer stores the results or the output to some storage medium such as the computer hard disk or a magnetic tape in order to store it permanently okay so this brings us to the end of today's lesson hope you enjoyed it take care see you soon